Your Google Photos has told you you're out of space, but you have so many years of photos left to take and store. What can you do? Now there's one quick way that you can go about checking. Let me show you. Over here in Google Photos, click on the cog button to the top right. Look over here at backup quality for photos and videos. You probably have original quality set. Now if you want to save some space because you only look at your photos on your phone or on the screen, select Storage Saver. This will look just as good as your original quality, but just at a slightly reduced resolution, especially if you're running smaller screens. Now, what about retrospectively applying this to your photos? Because you still have no space after you've selected Storage Saver. Well, there's an option for that. If we go to Storage on the left-hand side here, you'll be able to see Recover Storage when you scroll down. Here it says Convert Existing Photos and Videos to Storage Saver. If you click on Learn More, it's going to say, hey, we're going to switch all your original quality photos that you have to Storage Saver. Are you sure? And if you click I Understand, it's going to start compressing and changing your existing photos. Now, if you can't find the Recover Storage button, there's a few reasons why, but it's nothing to worry about. Firstly, it's probably because you have to wait a bit. If you can't see it right away, maybe wait a few hours and then come back to it. This morning, I went to set the photos to recover storage, and at the beginning, there wasn't a button, and at the end of the day, the button appeared. There's a few different ways you can find space. Obviously, download the photo and then store it on your own drive. Or if you want, you can start a new Gmail account and you get an extra 15 gigs, or you can pay for the subscription that Google has to offer so you can get more storage. Go ahead and click Learn More. And when you're ready, click I Understand. And this is going to compress all the photos for you. This is what it looks like when you press it. It will start the compressing. And depending on how many photos you have, it could take some time. So just let it happen. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below and I'll try my best to answer it for you.